Listen, folks, I've been around long enough to remember that back in 2016, when Hillary Clinton was always the front runner, when everyone thought that she'd be the presumptive nominee, that any and all criticisms of her from Bernie Sanders supporters was almost universally condemned by the Democratic Party establishment because the logic was, look, if this person is going to ultimately go up against the Republican, then why would you criticize them and ultimately weaken them? Why do that? So I remember that argument back in 2016, but are they applying that same logic to the 2020 Democratic Party primary now that Bernie Sanders is the clear frontrunner and will likely emerge as the presumptive nominee after Super Tuesday? No, because nobody's talking about this. This is from Brian Schwartz of CNBC who tweets, Mike Bloomberg's campaign is preparing a media onslaught against Bernie Sanders. Opposition research, more digital ads, op-eds, and surrogate TV appearances are all in the works to attack the Democratic frontrunner. So where's all the Democrats who were so worried about weakening the eventual nominee that they harshly and sharply condemned any and all criticisms of Hillary Clinton? Where are those people now? I don't see them speaking out on mainstream media. I don't hear anyone from the Democratic Party speaking out and calling on everyone to unify behind Bernie Sanders. It's almost like unity was a scam to get us to shut the fuck up and not question the party apparatus and establishment and their favored candidates. But now that Bernie Sanders is on the cusp of becoming the presumptive nominee, we hear nothing about unity. If this were any other candidate, if... Joe Biden, we're in Bernie Sanders' position currently. The calls for Bernie to drop out, calls for everyone to unify behind Joe Biden, would be so loud that you couldn't really hear anything else. But because it's Bernie Sanders, unity isn't that important. Because it's Bernie Sanders, all of a sudden people on mainstream media are contemplating whether or not a Trump victory would be better for the left, Democrats more specifically, than Bernie winning. All this talk of unity, vote blue no matter who, it never applied to them. It was always meant to censor and silence, ultimately, the left. Now, when it comes to Mike Bloomberg here, I don't understand how he's going to be able to fund op-eds. Are we going to get anyone who's writing a pro-Bloomberg, anti-Bernie opinion to actually disclose that they were paid off by Mike Bloomberg? Are we going to get that level of transparency? Are we going to see his surrogates disclose that they are in fact surrogates because back in 2016 Hillary's surrogates went on the air and even though they were on the payroll of the Clinton Foundation they pretended as if they were objective commentators and they never disclosed the fact that they were on Hillary Clinton's payroll so you know this was all something that we anticipated Mike Bloomberg at some point was going to target Bernie Sanders and it's disgusting I will never vote for him but you know I don't even think we're going to get the transparency that we deserve here and think about this. Mike Bloomberg, his campaign is falling apart. The only thing that he has going for him is all that money. He collapsed. He imploded at that last debate. A new poll from YouGov and CBS News shows that Mike Bloomberg is the weakest against Donald Trump. While Bernie beats Trump by three points, Mike Bloomberg loses to him by three points. And here we have Mike Bloomberg spending millions of dollars potentially to attack our front runner, when we all know that if this were Pete Buttigieg or Joe Biden, there'd be calls to not attack the front runner, to unify behind the front runner. There is a double standard, and this is the way that it's always going to be until we win, until we take over the party. Now, look, when it comes to Mike Bloomberg, he's doing this because he knows that the writing is on the wall. His only hope, we just talked about this on Friday. Um, or Saturday, maybe, I can't remember. His entire strategy centers on denying Bernie Sanders enough pledged delegates to where they can go into the convention in Milwaukee in July, and he can have superdelegates steal the nomination away from Bernie and give it to him. But with Bernie Sanders' decisive victory in Nevada, the odds of Bernie getting a majority of pledged delegates just went up. In fact, 538 is now showing that he has a 46% chance of getting an outright majority, which means he wins on the first ballot, which means there's no chance that they can steal it from him. But 
what Mike Bloomberg is trying to do here is just drive down Bernie's support enough just to sway enough people who are switching from Biden to Bernie and Warren to Bernie or Bloomberg to Bernie even to not support Bernie Sanders so all the other candidates can get enough delegates to make him the nominee. Listen, we have a responsibility as members of the left to speak out very loudly, not only against what he's doing, but to make it clear that we will never vote for Mike Bloomberg. Never vote for Mike Bloomberg. Because he and the Democratic Party establishment, they need to know that we will never legitimize this strategy. If you buy an election, we are not going to vote for you. I don't care if that means that he loses to Donald Trump. I mean, there's a serious discussion to be had about who's worse, Donald Trump or Mike Bloomberg. I mean, they're bad in different ways, but who is the overall greater threat to democracy? I genuinely don't know. It's an open question. So whenever Bloomberg is brought up, we have a responsibility. We have a duty, a moral obligation, I would argue, to speak out and say unequivocally, Bloomberg will never get my vote. I'm not voting Blue no matter who. I'm not supporting him if he's the nominee. If he's the nominee, I don't vote. Maybe you vote for Democrats, you know, in Senate races and House races, but to support Mike Bloomberg, I mean, if you support that, if you legitimize this process, this unprecedented event where a billionaire oligarch is going to spend a billion dollars to buy this election, then you're just asking for democracy to die sooner than it already is. Because Jeff Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg are going to do the same fucking thing. Worse, maybe... The, you know, the last Koch brother, I don't know if it's Charles or David, one of them's dead, but the last Koch brother is going to do this on the Republican side. And we're going to devolve into full-blown oligarchy. I mean, we're already functionally an oligarchy, but I mean, it's going to get to the point where only a billionaire becomes president. And we've got to speak out. We've got to say loudly and clearly, we'll never vote for Mike Bloomberg. Never Bloomberg. Doesn't matter if he's the nominee. Because I don't know what will be more damaging to this country. An oligarch buying that election... Or a fascist, you know, stacking the federal judiciary. Either way, we'll be hurt for decades to come. And if we're looking at harm reduction, I genuinely don't know who is going to inflict more harm on us, Mike Bloomberg or Donald Trump. So I don't want it to get to that. Get to that. And at this point, it seems like it won't get to that. But we just have to make sure that we're clear in condemning Mike Bloomberg and adding that caveat that we're not going to support him. If you are able to drive down Bernie Sanders' support by spending your money, something that nobody else in the race can do, no, you didn't win legitimately. Fuck you. You don't get my vote. Never. Never vote for Mike Bloomberg. And we've got to say that. We've got to make sure that this never Bloomberg movement is so loud that Democrats are afraid to put him up or steal it you know, away from Bernie and give it to him because the backlash will be so loud that the party can never recover. So, I mean, look, Bloomberg can spend all the money that he wants. I think that everyone sees the writing on the wall. It's probably too late, and maybe he's successful at driving down Bernie Sanders, five, even 10 points. But guess what? Once you start to have a little bit of momentum, it's like this snowball effect, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger to where, you know, you can stay in the race for so long into the convention, but... The people want to beat Donald Trump. The Democratic Party's electorate realize what's at stake in this election. And allowing a, you know, a billionaire oligarch to just buy his way to victory, they know that that isn't going to improve our odds. And maybe there are some delusional people who support Mike Bloomberg. But at the end of the day, we have to make it very clear he'll never get our votes. Never. doesn't matter if you're going up against Donald Trump. No amount of browbeating is going to convince us to support one fascist over the other. Not happening.